something mysterious happened last night. So I do want to share that experience with you all. So cool thing about this scope is it has these azimuth and altitude adjustment knobs. Let me show you from the other side. Because of that, the scope can balance on the telescope side and the counterweight side. Now the scope is balanced. Pretty balanced on both sides. So now the scope is ready to go. This is my dream telescope. I wanted to have RAS 11 anytime I want. Uh, with a small mount, I can easily bring it outside. It's heavy scope, but it's not too bad. So if you, you must have heard this quite a bit, there are dozens of comets now going through the solar system. So we are talking about Comet Atlas. Comet Swan, and now there is a new comet out there called C2025 A6 Lemon. It is one of the brightest of all of them. So, late 2025, there is a prediction that we might have at least five bright comets approaching the Earth, and it looks like it's happening now. So, the top of these candidates now is Lemon. And it is going to become naked eye visibility very soon. So that's pretty exciting. Just a background on this comet. We discovered this back in January 3rd, 2025. And it was discovered by the Mount Lemon Survey. That's in Arizona. And by, at the time when it was discovered, this was like a tiny asteroid kind of looking object. And now it turned into bag six so you can actually use a binoculars and look at this comet now and the closest time today when i'm recording this video it is october 3rd and the closest time to earth is going to be october 21st so at 0 0.60 astronomical units it's quite far almost half the distance between us and the sun and it's going to get bright and the Closest to sun would be November 8th. So we are looking between October 21st and November 8th. Comet is going to get a bit more brighter. And this comet is a morning comet. So if you want to see this comet, you need to get up in the morning almost like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Uh, look towards the northeast uh, part of the sky. And you should be able to locate the comet at least now either with a cell phone camera or with a telescope, or maybe with a binoculars. You should be able to find this comet pretty quickly. It's available there. So between Jupiter on the top and these two stars in the bottom, you should be able to find this comet. I took my telescope last night. I put it out there, and I'm super excited taking pictures of this comet. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I have a lot of astronomy videos, comets videos, everything exciting in the astronomy field is coming. So don't miss it. Please subscribe, click on the like button. Thank you.